Hello everyone, welcome to week 5. Today's topic is utilizing secondary data. This topic is related to chapter 8 of your research methodology book and here are the table of contents that we are going to touch for this week. First of all, we are going to look at the types of secondary data. Second, we will go into the advantages and disadvantages of secondary data. And finally, we are going to look at what are the secondary data sources. Secondary data uh, include both raw data and published summaries. Once obtained, these data can be further analyzed to provide additional or different knowledge, interpretations or conclusions. Let's look at the types of secondary data. Secondary data include both quantitative, numeric and qualitative, non-numeric data and are used principally in both descriptive and explanatory research. The secondary data you analyze further may be raw data where there has been little or any processing or compiled data that have received some form of selection or summarizing. Secondary data can also include structured data or unstructured data. It is easier to understand what secondary data are if we can group it into different forms of secondary data uh, and we can look at it uh, into three broad types. Number one, survey including census, continuous, regular or ad hoc survey. Number two, document. Um, anything that includes text, audio or visual media and finally compiled from multiple sources to create a snapshot, time series or continually updated data set. Um, all of these are summarized uh, in an example in figure 8.1. So as mentioned previously, here is figure 8.1. Uh, from this figure, we can see that secondary data can be divided into survey, document, and multiple source. So please have a look at the figure. For survey, we can see that it is uh, divided further into three groups, census, continuous regular survey, or ad hoc survey. All of these include um, surveys that has been conducted by previous researchers, um, usually using questionnaires. For the second one, document, uh, is in, uh, document includes everything that is documented. It can include uh, documents in terms of text, audio, or both visual and audiovisual. And the final one is multiple source uh, that includes snapshot, longitudinal um, report data, or continually updated data. So these types of data are usually ongoing research that is always updated by the researchers. Now we're going to look into the advantages and disadvantages of using secondary data. Um, the advantages of using secondary data include um, fewer resources requirements whereby uh, it is saving in resources, in particular uh, your time and money because the data is already there uh, you as a researcher don't need to collect the data. Secondly, is it's unobtrusive, whereby um, they have been collected and uh, you don't have to go and um, disturb other people to get the data because the data is already there. Since time is always a challenge to conduct research, using secondary data will enable uh, researchers to conduct longitudinal studies whereby they refer to um, data that's already documented in a certain period of time. By using this type of data, researchers can also compare uh, uh, and analyze all these uh, uh, contextual data and also they can result in new discoveries that maybe previous researchers um, did not, uh, were not able to do so. And finally, secondary data is usually easily avail available to the public 
Uh, however, there are disadvantages of using secondary data. And of course, the main um, disadvantage or challenge is to ensure that the data fits um, your uh, ob research objective. So some disadvantages may include that the data will not match your need. Uh, and some uh, database require you to pay to access it. So it can be costly. And the definitions of the secondary data may not suit your uh, current research because it is conducted for um, another research. And therefore, it leads to the other disadvantage, uh, which is you will not have real control over the data quality as well as the initial purpose of the data being collected um, is not related to your research. Therefore, you must be able to evaluate um, the potential secondary data sources in order for it to be suitable for your research. So how can you evaluate it? First of all, look at uh, the overall suitability of the data with your research questions and objectives. If it's not suitable, then don't proceed. If it's suitable, then look at the uh, suitability in terms of uh, the data analysis. Um, if it's suitable with your um, research, it's reliable, it's valid, then you assess in terms of the costs and benefits. So if um, the benefits um, is more than the cost, then it is good for you to use the secondary data for your research. That's all for utilizing secondary data topic. Thank you so much for listening. Take care and bye-bye.